Biden promised to put a black woman on the Supreme Court. Here is a possible shortlist. Stephen Breyer's retirement from the Supreme Court sets up President Biden to make history by appointing the first black female to America's highest court. On the campaign trail in 2020, Biden vowed to nominate a black woman if he were elected and a court vacancy occurred. He'll appoint the first black woman to the court. It's required that they have representation now. It's long overdue. Pick Twitter.com VZJHT for B5VA. Brandon Richards, January 26, 2022. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki confirmed this afternoon that the administration will stick to that pledge. Since Biden took office in January 2020, just for months after Ruth Bader Ginsburg's death allowed President Trump to move the court rightward. Toward a 6-3 to three split, progressives have been howling for the 83-year-old Breyer to retire as a way of ensuring that Democrats don't have her BGDJ. Vu. Last summer, Breyer frustrated them by saying he couldn't commit to retiring anytime soon because there were a lot of blurred things there and many considerations. Throwing into question who would be sitting in the Oval Office when he did. Breyer seems to have pondered this longer and concluded in retrospect that now is actually the best time. Biden can't shift the court back to the left, but it does give him a chance to reset the political narrative before the 2020 to midterms arrive, perhaps repairing some of the potential damage caused by months of slip UPS in Congress. On top of an ongoing pandemic recovery, that's wearing the public thin and a general economic malaise. On paper, Biden has the votes he needs to make a first ever judicial appointment that could excite the party's base. A short list of candidates his White House is likely considering is already circulating. These are the three names widely believed to be on top. Other women on the list include these for contenders.